What's going on, you wonderful Av geeks? Michael with Nocturnity Simulations, and today we're going to take a look at a common problem you may be having with a Thrustmaster TCA joystick that's probably driving you nutty. Have you recently been taxiing and take a quick look down to prepare your plane for takeoff, and when you look up, you're halfway off the taxiway for no darn reason other than your plane called for a union break? Do you also happen to have the Thrustmaster TCA Airbus joystick by chance? Well, it turns out that your plane isn't allowed to take its 15 minute union break just yet, but your rudder axis might be trying to do so. If you've been swerving all over the place and for no good reason other than the darn wind, or you thought so, you might want to bring up your sensitivity calibration screen and check to see for the following results. Do you see how the rudder axis input is shaking more than a chihuahua in Alaska? But don't fret thinking your joystick is broken and all that money is now gone because it's not dead just yet. In fact, it's a super easy fix and only requires a couple things you probably already have in your home. See, the great thing about the TCA joystick is that its X and Y axis are on a Hall Effect sensor, which essentially is a magnet over a computer chip that can sense its movement. The bad thing is that the rudder axis is still a classic potentiometer. Why is that a bad thing, you might ask? Well, eventually dust and crud will work its way in there over time and make it dirty, or the internal wires will get in the way after hours upon hours of use and start causing the issues you just saw. If you're now asking yourself, so, okay, how do we fix it? Well, here's how. What we are going to do is open up the joystick body and readjust those wires like your chiropractor fixes your back. While we're in there, we're also going to clean out the potentiometer just as an extra precaution. First thing you'll want to do is unplug your joystick so you don't accidentally screw something up because electrons are jerks. Then you'll want to grab the following. One, a small Phillips head screwdriver. Two, electronic spray or 99% rubbing alcohol. And three, cotton Q-tips. And that's it. Now take that trusty steed of a screwdriver and remove the five screws holding the handle together. The bottom two may give you a bit of resistance, so put your big boy pants on and rip them out. I wouldn't recommend bragging about this online, by the way. Next, you need to locate the potentiometer and maybe take some pictures to remember how everything went together. And oh, don't forget about the circuit board at the top. If you've made it this far and are freaking out, don't worry. It all goes back together pretty easy. What you may see is that the wires may be pushed against the potentiometer, but we'll get back to that in a minute. Go ahead and rip off the rest of the plastic because first we're going to pull the potentiometer out of its housing and either using the electronic spray or a cotton swab with alcohol, we'll clean it off. While this step probably isn't necessary, it could help and better to do it now than wait until you have to rip it all apart again like a piece of IKEA furniture you put together backwards. After all the parts have dried, which should only take a few seconds, you can start reassembling everything. Put the potentiometer back in, then the circuit board that was at the top of the joystick. And finally, if it fell out, put the axis lock back in place at the bottom. After you take a breather from that exhausting exercise, go ahead and start tucking the wires for the potentiometer back into the handle in a manner that prevents it from pushing against the potentiometer or causing any sort of interference. Once you've done that, carefully put the handle back on, making sure not to pinch any wires and reinsert the five screws you took out initially. Check that everything clicks and moves as expected, plug her back in and make sure everything works again. You should now see a smoother response on the axis that looks like someone gave that poor chihuahua a fur coat to ease his suffering. Congratulations! You may now pat yourself on the back and brag to your fellow nerds about how you've become an electronics genius by simply watching a 5 minute YouTube video. If that doesn't work, you may have to try once again the steps I just covered and hopefully you get it the second time. If you have any questions, please let me know below in the comments. Happy flying!